just turned the air conditioner off for this video and I'm already glistening. Whoo child. This is not cute. What's up everyone? It's Vicky J and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, so happy to have you aboard. Welcome me, welcome you. And if you are a J Bay, one of my subscribers who keeps coming on back and letting me influence them and enable them to make luxury purchases. Well, y'all know what the deal is. This is another video where I make y'all spend y'all money. So get ready because it's going to be fun. Today's video is in collaboration with a fellow j Bay. This is my girl B's journey. And she is just a beautiful, awesome, super kind person. Uh, DM'd me, asked me to do a little collaboration with her and we brainstormed and came up with the idea to do our top five luxury lipsticks. Now, as collaborations go, I will have Dee's collaboration in the description box. So please do jump down there, give it a click, check out her video, subscribe if you enjoy her content. And I will also, for those of you who can see the cards, have it up here somewhere, one of these spots, it'll be here. If you are not yet a J Bay, What's the deal? What's going on here? There's a red subscriber button right there. Please click it so that it turns gray and then makes you a J-Bay. And J-Bays are the best bays in YouTube because they are my bays who tune in whenever I upload to chit chat and all that, usually about makeup. Sometimes it might be about other little cute accessories and goodies, but we are here to talk about makeup on today. And that is the key to my heart. So now that we've gotten all the formalities out of the way, let's get into this top five. First up is Pat McGrath Matte Trance Lipsticks. And when I when I stumbled upon this formula, whoo, I started collecting. I have over 10 of them, I believe. And I love them so much. This one in particular is the shade Omi number 107. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this bad boy for you because this is a beaut. She is, oof, oof, oof. See, the girls go for flesh, and I love flesh. Flesh is lovely. It's it's lovely. But this right here is my wheelhouse for nudes. It's just a really beautiful complimentary shade for so many skin tones. I would challenge somebody not to be able to wear this. Even Nima Tang could rock this. Even Ducky Thought could rock this. Even Nikki Thought could rock this and, and like slay it. Next up on the list is from Givenchy. And I love the style of their lipstick component. I just wanna start there. These are <laughs> gorgeous. Um, this one in particular is the uh, La Rouge in the shade 316 Op Orange Absolute. And this formula is their satin formula. Here's what the bullet looks like. Get a load of that vivid intensity. And here's what it looks like on, on the hand, on the skin, darling. How gorgeous is this? One of my favorite shades. The opacity is there. The moisture level, look at that shine. It's perfect. It's perfect. So if you've never tried Givenchy La Rouge, please do. You don't have to get this shade if this is a little too, team too much for you. This was for the Lunar New Year. So um, that's why the component looks like this. Normally you get a standard bullet, but in this case, it's a little more fancy. Next up is the GOAT, as far as I'm concerned. For 2020, Gucci got the game on lock for lipstick, okay? Okay? Because, listen, listen. These matte lipsticks are superior. And, like, I, I just, oh, they're so freaking awesome. And I reach for these all the time. I have to stop myself because I'm like, you know, girl, you need to mix it up. Your uh, audience is going to want to see more than just the same thing. But on the days where I'm like, I don't post or whatever, I'm wearing these. And this one in particular is my absolute favorite shade from the five that I currently have. And this is the Painted Veil. Oh, God. The most scrumptious. Ooh. Oh, it feels so good. Look at that nude. Look at that nude. It's like a lighter version of Omi. Let's go ahead and compare. Let's go ahead and compare. Yeah, yeah. It's just a lighter version of Omi. The undertones are the same. So if you just were to lighten it up, like you know how you desaturate something? 
<laughs> if you were to do that, you would end up with the painted veil. So yeah, these are gorgeous. Can you imagine these together? Can I, can we just, you know what? Hold on. Hi. <laughs> How gorgeous is this? I've got Omi all over the outer, outer um, perimeter of my lips. And then in the center, I have the painted veil. Get into it. You can go ahead and add a brown liner if you um, do not feel comfortable wearing it this way. I do. I think it looks fantastic. I think it looks sickening. I think it's super complimentary to my skin tone. It looks really good with this eyeshadow, honey. I'm all up in y'all face and I'm just, you know, I just want you to see how great this is. So next up is Killian. Oh my goodness, these lipsticks are incredible. And yes, again, you can get satin or you can get matte but you can you can absolutely either way it goes smell killian fragrance because that is also what is in here so when you go to swipe this beautiful stunning sickening weighty lipstick <laughs> you will get oh i just got that on my nose didn't i okay you'll get a nice little whiff of love don't be shy but let me go ahead and show you all this um crystal rose shade oh god would you look at that such a gorgeous gorgeous shade it's not quite like one thing or the other it's definitely a pink but it's it's not a like a bubblegum pink it's not a barbie pink it's not a um it's to me it's not even rosy really it has a very 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 faint hint of mauve in it which is why i love it so much these come in a bunch of incredible colors you can get nudes you can get reds you can get pinks and you can even get like kind of chocolatey brown colors as well. Uh, so definitely check out Killian. Most popular versions of this are the reds. They have a nice range of reds. So definitely a red for everyone. So definitely check them out. This has to be one of my like favorite lipstick cases <laughs> ever. So that leaves one more lipstick. And this one is, ooh, we so luxe. It is so luxe. It is what I am responsible for when it comes to the YouTube luxury beauty community. <laughs> and that is putting every one of my friends onto these Carolina Herrera lipsticks. Look at this. Look at this. Who does, who does, who does this? Carolina Herrera. That's who does this. And I, <laughs> I don't remember how I happened upon these. I really don't. I feel like it was, was it? Michelle? I think it might have been Michelle Wong. No, no, it wasn't. It was, hmm. I don't remember y'all, I'm sorry. But I know Michelle Wong was one of the first people that I actually watched a review for before I received mine in the mail. And so listen, customizable to your heart's content. That's number one. That's the, like the number one thing I love about these. But then the formula is fantastic. Now I'm a matte girl usually. Um, it has to be a really sickening satin for me to go for a satin. This is a matte. And this is the shade that I was wearing before I put this on. It's called Cheering Pink. Would y'all look at this? Somebody come look at this. This is so beautiful. It's not as vivid when you put it on. If you're about my skin tone, it's not as vivid or as scary as it were. Um, it's actually very wearable. And... I don't think you need a liner for it. I I didn't use one. It, this is a beautiful, look at that saturation on one swipe. The comfortability of this lip. It's not a drying matte. It It's not a transfer proof either, but it stays for a very long time. And it's stunning. This is, this is the way that the mattes look. And I have quite a few, as you can see back there. And I love this extra <laughs> extra bouginess that is happening with this component i love it so much so we've got two love charms hanging from here today we've got like a cute little green beetle and the flower this is the only flower that um flower charm available but those two and then i got this cute green black and white situation going on here and then i got the green tassel oh just amazing and everything is customizable you get the lipstick separately you purchase a cap of your choice 
this ring actually came off of the beetle that goes on the compact, but you can get um, a larger ring to hold all your beetles or to just hang from here. It also fits here. So I'm obsessed with these. Um, easy to get obsessed with them, but I will caution you that these are only currently available in the UK at Harrods. So you will have to order online. It's $30 for international shipping. So if you're gonna order, honey, that's what, that's how I ended up with this. If you're gonna order, you make it count. You don't have to buy all Carolina Herrera. You can absolutely purchase whatever you want on their website, but it's gonna be $30 regardless. Just, just so you know. Definitely have links for you guys. So don't even worry about that, I've got you. Um, and I've also got you when it comes to my girl D's journey. So please check out her luxury picks. And she also uh, did a video of her Carolina Herrera purchase and she ordered five lipsticks as well. So that'll be an enjoyable video for you, I promise you. Uh, check that out as well. And I will also link that video down below. I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, I certainly did. I had a good old time <laughs> putting this together, talking about makeup, cause that's what I love to do. And so if you did enjoy this video, let me know by com uh, commenting your favorite lipstick from my top five, as well as your favorite lipsticks from Luxury Beauty. And don't forget to like the video. You gotta give it a thumbs up so I know you like it. And if you do like it and you like this kind of content, I can do it again. What other top fives would you like to see? Who else would you like to see me collaborate with? That is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you did. And let's have a big old chit chat and all that in the comments section. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Check out Dee's Journey after you come from here or if you have come here from Dee's Journey, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy my content and I hope that you consider subscribing and becoming a J-Day. And until then, I will see you next time. Bye.